Hello friends, today the DEXP TV is being repaired. The problem with the TV is that it stopped showing the image, although there is sound. The indicator lights up red. If we turn on the TV, the indicator lights up blue. The TV screen is completely black and does not work. The TV also turns off without any problems if you press the off button. When you shine a flashlight on the screen, an image appears. And also when I turn off the TV, the image disappears, so it's most likely a problem with the TV's backlight. I think the probability that this is backlighting is about 95%. Let's disassemble the TV and see if I'm right. You can see the full name of the TV on the TV label. Let's unscrew all the screws around the perimeter and remove the cover. And so friends, I took off the lid and what do we see here? I'll show you the name of the display module, maybe someone will need it. On the board, the power supply and control units are combined on one board. Let's take a look and remember where the various wires go. Two thick wires go to the TV speakers. Small wires go to the TV control board. Another cable goes to the LED indication. Well, the largest cable goes to the display module. On top we have two power wires for the LEDs. There are also two dead flies here. Our backlight is signed. So you can't go wrong. Now I'll measure the voltage at the LED connection plug in order to understand whether power is reaching the LEDs. Let's measure the voltage at the output from the board. First I'll measure it when it's off and then when it's on. I set the multimeter to measure voltage. We look, it shows 51 volts when turned off. Now let's measure the voltage when the TV is on. When the TV is turned on, the multimeter shows about 100 volts. This is the voltage at the output from the board to the LED backlight. Let's further disassemble the TV and finally try to get to the LEDs. I'll now open up the board and then lift the cover, don't forget to unscrew all the screws. We also remove the fastenings for the legs and under them we will see metal stickers that need to be removed, otherwise you will break the cables going to the matrix. So friends, I took off the TV cover and we see the following picture. The display remained in place, but the cover with the LEDs is now separate. This is what the cover with LEDs looks like. These are four lines of eight LEDs. There are small screws everywhere. Let's unscrew them in order to remove this white plate. After I removed the white plate we see this picture. And now I will check all the LEDs. I will test the LEDs using a lab power supply. I apply a voltage of 3.5 volts through a 1 kOhm resistor to limit the current. Let's try checking the LEDs. As you can see, the LED lights up which means it's working, let's move on. The second LED works the same way. But the third LED does not work. This is how I will now check each LED individually. I received completely new plates with LEDs, 
I suggested to the client to change only the burnt out LEDs. It would have been two times cheaper, but it would have taken more time. Because such LEDs are sold only in China, and delivery takes quite a long time to Russia, about a month. The client needed the TV as soon as possible. So he had to order all the plates from local stores. As you can see, the TV began to work after replacing the LEDs. Let's try turning off and turning on the TV again. Everything works. I hope the video was useful. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like. See you in the next form.